introducing in the blue corner, wearing the white and white blue shorts, weighing in the lemon stone, the pan from Stanford, Jake Bray. And in the red corner, wearing the white shorts, Weighing in at 11 stone, 12 pound and 4 ounces, a record of 4 undefeated, Ben Bad Intentions Bernard! For three minute rounds, your referee, David Munnerholm. What's the little girls, what's the medicine clubs, what's the little blows, what's the taxi clubs, what's the little towns, what's the little towns, what's the little towns. Yeehaw! Boom, boom, share and welcome. First conscious evenings of 4 threes in the Super Middleweight Division between Ben Burnham, coming from the red corner, and coming from the blue corner, is Jake Bray of Stanley Forth. Tonight, commentaries by myself, Lee Top of Whitehead, and Mike Action Gormley. Nice start by Burnham. That's it. Three fight being clear so far, record so far with one stoppage. Jake Bray, journeyman Takis from Doncaster, um, fought last week against well known um, journeyman Dale Arrowsmith and got a draw. And Burnham looks in good shape tonight. Yeah, he certainly does. He's just taking his time there, nice and easy. So, obviously no rush, four threes. And yeah, nice little step to the side, bring right up to Chuck Norris. Standing for Chuck Norris, he's left. Nice shot by Jake. Quite fully extend though. Corner tonight, his former super uh, for his former light heavyweight undefeated champion, the manners of Leeds. It's quite sharp, it's Burnham. It's from Birkenhead. Referee tonight in this first bout is David Mulholland of Liverpool. Uppercut, Bray on the way in. He looks considerably a bigger man, Mike. Yeah, he certainly does. Um, Bray slightly red round the face now, obviously, he's sucked up a few punches there. Nice left up, left up by Bray. Yeah, it's nice to see him being on the offensive. Tonight's promotion by VIP. I think Jules will be training for the same month. Coming to the end of the first round. Um, clearly, Burnham's took the first round. In our opinion. Get her in round two. Nice job to start off with from Burnham. Keep it nice and long for the extending that left arm. Nice double jab too. Yeah, definitely got the height and reach advantage. He weighed 11, st uh, 11 stone 12. And then Bray weighed 11 stone 8. Nice, 
assault there by Gray. Nice right up to the head there by Burnham. Punches a little bit of power there, Mike. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Um, the heavier shots coming from Burnham. Ray's still happy to come forward though and take, take those shots. Yeah, he is a game journeyman. Nice one, two. Nice and simple over the top. By, shot by Burnham. Lovely jab, too. Shot to body. Holding down though. Nice one, two again. As you said, um, Ray's a lovely looking but left side of his face is really reddening up now yeah that left hand side near his ribs now reddening up as well so Burnham definitely hitting the target Good power nice double cut there inside from Burnham yeah I'm coming out George is at the end of the second round that's definitely two in the bank for Burnham much better round by him yeah only his fourth fight this and he's already, he's been in with Lillian Pooch um, 100 plus fights, I think it's almost 150 isn't it Lee, something like that. Quite quite a good experienced journeyman, uh, surprisingly Burnham, not surprisingly he won it, but obviously going in with him anyway with such experience, all credit to him. That right into the body again by Burnham, Ray comes back though, he's still game. Yeah, letting him know he's still in the scrap. As we say he's a tough kid anyway. Nice to see these journeymen though come and have a goal rather than run around the ring, just dance around and survive for four, five, six rounds, whatever. Gray definitely gives value for money. Lovely job there. But yeah, another round to burn him, I think in our opinion. Sharon, round three of the schedule four threes here in Liverpool Olympia. Ben Burnham coming out of the red corner from Birkenhead. And starts off with a lovely jab to the face of Stanley Force, Jake Bray. Just sinking that right hand again to the body. Loves that right hand shot. He's obviously noticed Bray lifts his left arm up, so sneaking one under the elbow. Yeah, Jake Braid, real game. He's eating a lot of that jab though, Lee's there. Nice, nice jab again from Burnham. Yeah, this Quite Nick, effective. Yeah, he needs to learn to catch that jab a little bit better. If you're going to be a good journeyman, you've got to have a good defence. Move down that ring. You know, he's coming forward a little bit too much, which is great for the opposition, but you know, Lee's journeyman, leg it around the ring fast as he can and make them do the work. To, if you want some longer tibeter. Good work by Burnham again. Nice right hand over the top by Bray. Referee Mulholland had much to do. A nice clean bout. Calling him on. He's catching every time with that jab, with a belting shot. And uh, another right 
into ribbon side, uh, the ribbon inside of Jake Ray. Sticking that right up again. Yeah, it's got a lovely job. He's avoiding it. So he's resilient still. Once the head run back to the bounce of the body. Eventually to the last ten of the ultimate round. Berman, bring it on. Ray showing us a little bit back. Great shot there. Boom, boom, shake the room. Fourth and final round. Uh, myself and Mike have got it three rounds to burn him. You know, play, uh, Brace played his part though. Great shots right on the middle there. For you young boxers watching, that straight jab and the one two. That's probably the best shot in boxing or shots in boxing. You can definitely see the strength difference though. Um, possibly if Burnham stepped this up a little bit, he could get a stoppage here. Whether he, whether he feels he wants to do that, I'm not sure. Brace, Brace still game though. I think if, he, if his punches were a bit more fluent, combination twos and threes. I think, he, I think he favours more the single shot, single power shots, single stiff jab, single backhand. Right up to the body again. Ray still comes back though. Ray's bleeding out the nose now. Lovely uppercut there by Burnham. I think he might be pushing on, trying to get a finish here. A little bit of holding. His fourth round. Our first bout of the evening, an entertaining affair, good shot over the top by Bray. He quite throws punches properly though. Yeah, he's certainly giving Burnham a test. I would like to see Burnham step it up though, try and stop him. No disrespect to Bray, oh, hopefully Bray can get through this, because this is obviously he earns his living out of boxing on the road. If he got stopped, he'd obviously get a 28 day ban. At one point, Ben Burnham was living up to his nickname, Bad Intentions. I think he needs to show more. And the standing fourth, Chuck Norris, it's like the survival of the round. His game is the bagel. I think Brave, he wants to survive this round anyway. I think he just needs to stay off a little bit, not be too game. He's still getting an out, just keep his nice tight guard. Let's move around. Burnham's 29. Years of age. Yeah, I think I think Bray's done his job. He's done his work. Yeah. I'm not sure about the stoppage, but yeah, yeah referee David Mullen stops that bout probably a little bit too hastily. Burnham, you know, Burnham deserved, um, so Bray deserved to at least see the final bell there. Ladies and gentlemen, your appreciation please for both boxers, thank you. After two minutes and 40 seconds of round four, a referee stopped the contest. And your winner by technical knockout in the red corner, Ben Bad Intentions Burnham. For all boxing info, news, and latest interviews, amateur and pro across the north, click and subscribe.
VIP Boxing Promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.